The Boeing 787 Dreamliner took to the skies on a test flight for the first time above Seattle a few hours ago. Long delayed, long anticipated. The future of flying, 14,500 kilometres on a tank full. And in other news overnight, Al Gore made a goose of himself in Copenhagen, where he said that the North Pole could be ice-free within five years. Gasps of horror, till the academics, including the one whose figures Gore had mangled, said that that wasn't true. And in other news overnight, the New South Wales government is looking at a shock rise in the price of electricity, 62% in three years because of network costs and a federal scheme to reduce emissions. The word shock was actually used by Energy Minister John Robertson, who said, people expect electricity that is affordable. Yes, we kind of do, John. And in news about to break this morning, Tony Abbott has come up with a unique conspiracy theory. In a Sydney breakfast, Abbott reckoned that Kevin Rudd's proposed emissions trading scheme is a disguise. It's really an old-fashioned Labor-style attempt to redistribute wealth from the rich to the poor, he said. Poor people laughed or would have had they been able to afford a seat at the business breakfast. But Abbott continued, taunting the Prime Minister to bring on an early election to be fought on emissions trading. None of this is any help to the lower lakes. Climate Change Minister Penny Wong is at the Climate Change Conference. She's also Federal Minister for the River Murray, but she's not down at the ruined Lower Lakes. They need $24 million in federal funds to stop the preventable environmental disaster. The Feds refuse to release the money. And why won't the state government cough up the 24 mil? Because, says the opposition, it's spending $450 million building a sports stadium for private enterprise. And in other news overnight, an A-listed company in Copenhagen staged a glittering evening with top models and fabulous designer clothes. A sustainable fashion show. Yep, it's all an intricate plot to help the poor.